<laughs> Welcome to the 31 Nights of Macoween! Every night during the month of October, I will review a scary movie! Come and join if you dare! <laughs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Oya, or like I like to call Ouija, is a 2014 American supernatural horror film directed by Styles White in his directorial debut. And it's produced by Jason Blum, the man, the myth, the madman. Also produced by Michael Bay, Andrew Form, Bradley Fuller, and Bennett Shiner. And written by Joliet Snowden and White, who previously together wrote The Possession. It stars Olivia Cook, Darren Kagas, Douglas Smith, and Bianca A. Santos as teenagers who have unleashed spirits from a Ouija board. I'm really sick of these board game horror films. Like, I'm really, really sick of these movies. Not only are they not scary or good in any way, shape, or form, they're also very easy cash grabs for studios to get big profit margins for. Case in point, Ouija. I'll give Ouija this. This film is better than the second film by a slim margin, but not a huge, huge one. And I will not be covering Origins of Evil because that one's worse than this one. So I'll just stick to the first one. Um, but Ouija is a film that I thought would have come out in the 90s or early 2000s as a crappy TV movie. <laughs> but nope. Blumhouse gave us the glorious film in the year 2014. And oh boy, it's it's something it's hard for me to find any other piece of silver lining to the say about this film maybe the cast did an okay job and i don't blame them at all for their performances when they were working with a terrible script but for the things i didn't enjoy was the horror and the story both of these elements are the weakest part of the film the story of the film is just very plodding and boring to watch they didn't even use the ouija board as they advertised in the trailer all they do is mope around about their friend who dies at the beginning of the film then they decide hey you know what let's use this ouija board to contact her and we want to talk to her again and um that comes almost like a half hour into the film and before that it's just talking 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 who with the between these characters who have no real connection with each other and it's just boring and that leads to the horror the film is not scary like i'm flat out saying this film did not scare me at all not only are the scares in the film not scary at all they rely heavily on crappy jump scares and like i said before you can use jump scares as a tool for horror i just think it's a little cheap but if you're able to use it in a way that can actually be creative like the it movie did or don't breathe you can actually have jump scares that work as a legitimate sense of horror but if you're just doing that as a jump scare fest no no bueno for me man <sighs> don't rely on startling audiences with the jump scares and not using anything else to make the film remotely scary ouija was released on october 24th 2014 with a budget ranging from five to eight million dollars after it's under the box office to go on the gross 103.6 million dollars jesus christ man overall i have no idea why ouija is like maybe i'm just out of touch with modern horror films and such i i say watch this film if you want to laugh and not be scared at all and i'm gonna give ouija a i don't know like yeah four out of ten yeah we just getting a four out of ten i'm but no bye see you tomorrow